Hey, good morning. I am just waking up. I didn't want to do a video yesterday while we were setting up for camping. Um, let me spin around. There's the two. But I will give you my unprofessional, very much so, uh, that's what I'm trying to say, unprofessional opinion on the difference between a hammock and a tent, which one you should choose. So here we go. All righty. So here's the hammock with the rain fly attached just so keep the dew off even though we are under a canopy of trees um, my eight-year-old son slept in this and then I used my tent I used for hiking on the Appalachian Trail um, all right let me give you the rundown here's the hammock very simple I've got just a tree strap turnbuckle to hook the whoopee sling to I used the whoopee sling instead of strapping I took all that out and it just hooks here. Same with the canopy. I just have some paracord. This is the bridge because this hammock under here has the mosquito netting. I always get them with this mosquito netting. This is just a double hammock, but it doesn't have any, get the end off of there. It does not have any um, shelves or pockets like for your feet. Some of them you can lay like pretty much flat, go sideways. Um, they have a head pocket and foot pocket. This one does not have that. This is just a basic, real simple. I think it was with the cover, with the canopy, the rainfly, it was 25 bucks. So it was real cheap, but that's, that's why I set it up right here. Um, <clears throat> so with the hammock, if you are like, we float the river a lot and do overnight floats. And I would highly recommend a hammock because anytime you're along a river, most likely the bank is not flat. And then you get a lot of critters that roam the bank looking for food. So you got to deal with them. I would pack a hammock. They pack into tiny little bags. I put one in the, for the rain fly, one for the hammock and everything fits in the same bag that supports it in the one bag. If I made sense on that, like I said, very unprofessional. You know, I'm not a, a big uh, blogger, but I just wanted to give you my opinion over the years of using them. Um, they are great for the summer and early fall like right now we're in august and we're in central virginia so it's still nice but come up in september and you better watch because it's going to get chilly because you get the thermal underneath the wind and it will cool you off really bad the one thing i'd like to add to this is um rings put a ring on here maybe right at the hammock or up here because if rain falls hits these ropes it'll run down it and go right into the hammock and make the end of your hammock wet when it rains even though you have a rain fly covering this side covering the whole hammock um it does not cover your ropes so you should have a ring it's like a big circle ring and the water will hit that and then drip off so here's my little guy he's the one that slept in it last night all night by himself but uh here let me unhook let me flip the rain fly hold on so that's him in there He's got the black sleeping bag, which is good for like, I don't know, close to freezing and a couple pillows and perfectly comfortable in there. It's got the bag on the outside. He throws a you know, flashlight and stuff, headlamp and that. Um, even My flashlight's in here, Dad, I oh, think. He threw it in there. It even has a little pocket right here in the netting. But well, I tell you, it keeps the mosquitoes out in the nets. And it has, this is the elastic that keeps your netting up off of you. You just stretch that with it too. So you just got a couple strings and ropes tied to the trees, but you don't hurt the trees at all. And very light. I want to say the whole setup there is right at two pounds. Um, maybe right around there, two point or 1.7, 1 1.8. 1 There's a flashlight. But he did great in it all night by himself. So let me show you the tent. All righty, this is the tent that I used last night. This is the one I carried on the Appalachian Trail weighs right at uh three pounds um it's not the lightest one going but very simple it's got the two bar system right here this is the rain fly um a couple velcro spots that hold it down and you could lock it down but i just put it on to keep the dew off uh, double doors on each side one on each side it came with the mat i want to say 200 bucks so it's not very very expensive um tent but it works great it's got the bathtub design which means it comes up from the bottom it comes up about six inches straight and then slants so that way when your feet are up against it it is not let me show you real quick it is not 
going to push down on your feet. You can see where it is flat, straight up right there in the corner, all the way around the edge. So that's real nice. They call it a bathtub design. <clears throat> anyway, this guy is great. It keeps the wind off you. You're on the ground, so it's warmer. I use this one for when it is cooler out or cold. Um, but you have to watch. If you're on a hillside, it's not going to be level. And if there's a hill near you, you got to watch the water does not run down to you. You know, typical tent, you know, where it will affect you. So both have pros and cons. This one's warmer. Um, you got a ton more room in it, a little more comfort, but you got to use an air mat to keep off the ground. Um, and so it's a little heavier, but for car camping, like we're doing today, you know, came down to the property and um, throw the tents up it works out fine backpacking it's a little heavy it adds some extra weight but you need a flat spot um you got to watch for water you know running down to you if it does rain um it is a little more convenient if it is raining because you can get under it this one has the awnings or whatever you want to call it where these come out let me try to get this with one hand they come out like this they come out and that way you have a little spot for your gear underneath the rain fly um, like this. So you can kind of sit in the doorway and get changed without the rain getting on you. Um, the hammock, you got to get underneath that rain fly and change underneath there. Um, but yeah, so both have benefits. I'm sorry I'm rambling. <clears throat> both have benefits for different applications. You know, if I float the river or just hike it in the woods. I love the hammock if it's not cold. Um, simple, lightweight, just throw it up, climb in, go to sleep and you're done. You don't have to have an air mat and everything else. I have like a two inch uh, inflatable air mat in there, um, self inflating and you just open the valve, roll it out, you know, the way they are. Um, the tent, if I'm car camping or uh, a little cooler where I don't wanna use a quilt on the hammock underneath the quilt, this will work just fine. So it's up to you. You, you got to look at how you're using it and where you're using it, which one you need to go with, and also the size. This one will hold two of us, my son and I. Um, and then we have the big, big one, which will hold you know, three or four people. But uh, that's it. I prefer, what? which one do I prefer? I would go with, da -da -da, I would go with the hammock. Um, but I would get the one with the box, the foot box and everything to where you can go sideways. That one does not have it. That is just for strictly throw it up, camp one night and float down the river some more. If you're going out for a couple days, want to be comfortable, I would go with one with a foot and even a head box where you can go almost sideways in it and lay flat. Um, and then you also have to learn just like with a tent, how to set it up and all, you know, and how to get comfort with the air mat. This one, you got to learn the angle of their ropes to where you how much sag you want in it what is comfortable for you so it all it all takes practice but if you want lightweight easy don't worry about the terrain if it's uh, uneven and everything like that go with a hammock um if you want more room and have the ability to carry the little bit extra weight and don't mind the air mat you know to lay on for the ground you got to clean the ground off make sure there's no sticks or rocks and everything else that'll puncture through um, go with the tent. So that's it. Talk to you guys later.